Hey, I'm Ed. Tonight we're gonna make butterfly boneless lamb on the grill. To prepare our boneless leg of lamb, I bought a butterfly leg of lamb at the butcher. You don't want to have to cut that up yourself. Uh, almost every grocery store is gonna have this. Liberally salt, pepper. You know the lamb loves garlic and uh, rosemary. So I'm gonna salt and pepper both sides. And uh, then we're gonna put the whole thing in a bag. I like to marinate it for between one and four hours. You could even do it overnight. A little lemon juice to break down some of the tissues and uh, the, the rosemary and the garlic. We're gonna smash up in a second. Okay, we put the salt and pepper on both sides of the, the lamb, the boneless lamb butterfly leg. So I'm just gonna add some of the, uh, the rosemary, just strip it off the stalk. I think it's just a little easier that way. I, you could use the dry stuff. Fresh is optimal, obviously, as always. Uh, just put that in there. Juice of one or one and a half lemons, depending how big the lemons are. A couple tablespoons of olive oil, enough to coat everything. And a bunch of garlic. I kind of put, uh, put four cloves in for three pounds of lamb, so, you know, one clove per pound is kind of typical. And then we just mix that all up. And then we seal it up and leave it for minimum one hour, maximum overnight. And we're gonna have a deliciously marinated boneless leg of lamb to put on the grill. I let our butterfly lamb marinate overnight in the lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, rosemary. And now we're gonna take it out, out of the fridge, and we're gonna let it come up to room temperature like we do for all meats that we're gonna cook, especially on the grill. You don't wanna shock it, you wanna cook it nice and evenly. So I'm gonna take it out, put it on a plate for about, this is about three pounds. So I'm gonna let it sit out here for maybe 20, 30 minutes, and we'll come back, put it on the grill. We have our grill ready. Heated it up over 500, almost 600 degrees. I'm gonna put it, uh, our lamb on fat side down. And let that calm down for a second. So on the direct heat, we're gonna, you know, we wanna like get some grill marks on it and uh, like medium high heat. And then after that, we'll cook it probably on this side about four or five minutes and then we'll flip it over. All right, so we had our lamb on medium high heat for about five minutes on fat side down. And we, that side's a little bit charred now. So now we're gonna flip it over and turn the heat down. Direct heat, but kind of a low for another four or five minutes. And then we're gonna move it off that heat to indirect heat to let it cook through. So this is back on like a lower heat, the lowest setting, but direct for a couple minutes. After five minutes on our second side, we're gonna flip it back over. We have some nice little grill marks. We're gonna take it off the direct heat. Actually, I'll just turn off this burner. And we'll let this, uh, let the grill come down to about three, 350 degrees. And let it cook through for about another five minutes. I'm gonna pull out an electronic meat thermometer in a second and check the temperature. So you can see our lamb's up to 135. I like it rare, so I'm gonna take it off now, let it rest for 10 minutes, and then cut it. All right, our grilled butterfly lamb is ready to be cut up and served, so let's see how it looks. I'm gonna just cut it right down the middle and go from there. Perfect. A little bit rare, I like it that way. So what I'm gonna do is just gently take the pieces apart and cut them into slices to serve it up. You can see it's, uh, you can just pull apart where the, uh, the little sinews are and then try to find the grain, like there's a grain going that way, cut against that and make slices for your guests. So you can see because of the varying thicknesses, it's done a little bit differently. This is a little bit more rare, that's a little bit more medium. There you have it, grilled butterfly lamb. Enjoy.